Hi everybody, welcome to the Go Right Warehouse. My name is Brian, and today we'll be talking about the Intel Nook RS232 for 10th gen. And this cool lid is going to allow you to operate a Zebra 450 printer. So the first step is grab your nice, clean, sleek Nook and open the box. Look at this beauty. So as you can see, it's a nice clean finish on top. This Nook includes two USB ports in the front and an internet port in the front, and then an additional USB port on the back. So the first step you're going to do is get a nice clean lid. Take off the plastic. Look at this beauty. And as you can see, you can see the, the terminal connector on the side with the cable that you're going to use to connect into the nook. So you put this off to the side, grab your nook, and take off the top lid from the nook. Now that the lid is off, you're gonna put the nook off to this, onto its side and unscrew the bottom part. And the reason why you're unscrewing the bottom part is because you're going to need to feed in the connector in order for the lid and the nook to operate together. And it should slide right off once it's loose. So now, you're going to grab your nook and to make it easier for yourself, you're going to make sure to feed in, feed in the connector right to the right side of the hole. So what you're going to do is you're gonna feed the connector, feed the cable right into the hole. Now you'll be able to use the Zebra 450. Now the Intel Nook is connected to a Zebra 450 printer.